Om Samaji. I've been practicing meditation for many years, but I have doubts if I am making any progress. How do I know that I am progressing? And how to ensure progress in my meditation practice? First of all, you need a teacher, a skilled teacher. And second, after finding a teacher that can teach you meditation properly, you need to develop faith in the teaching and faith in the teacher. Then you need to apply the lessons received from the teacher. Then you need to ask this question to your meditation teacher. The, the question is valid. How is it possible that after so many years of practice, I still don't feel that I have progressed properly or progressed enough? And there is another point. When we learn how to meditate, it's not so helpful to change methods of meditation all the time. In the beginning, we are searching for a teacher and we are searching for teachings, and this is understood. But after a while, when we have found a proper teacher and a proper teaching, this is a time to emphasize practice under proper guidance. When we practice regularly under proper guidance, the results will be there. And when we practice under a good teacher, a good teacher will be able to answer our questions. The other thing that we need to remember, the upper structure of the yoga of meditation is built on the foundations of karma yoga, the yoga of selfless service, and bhakti yoga, the yoga of devotion or the yoga of divine love. Even when we speak about the yoga of meditation, meditation is the seventh step in a ladder that consists of eight steps. So the foundation of the yoga of meditation is the practicing of the yamas or the ethical teachings, the niyamas or the daily observances for the purification of the mind, of asana, the practice of the postures, not just for health and for a strong physical body, but as a preparation for meditation. The practice of pranayama for the purpose of the purification of the physical body and the mind, and as a preparation for mastery over the senses and the mind as a preparation for meditation. Then the conquest of the uh, senses come, the withdrawal of the senses from their sense objects, the different practices of concentration that prepare the mind for the higher practices of meditation, the practices of meditation proper, and in the longer run, the attainment of the superconscious state, which is the fruit of all these practices. The practice of meditation is a long practice, and the secret behind the successful practice of meditation is abhyasa, or regular daily practice done for, a, for a, an extended period of time, for a long time, until we achieve success, and vairagya, developing this passion, even this passion towards the fruit of meditation itself. So when we do all these practices in the spirit of yoga, combined with other aspects of yoga, like daily study of scriptures and so on, 
like being in the company of other spiritual practitioners, which is called satsanga, means doing group practice together. When we do all these things, then our meditation will be successful. But as I said before, the foundation of the yoga of meditation is karma yoga, the yoga of selfless service towards our fellow being. And by the practice of karma yoga, our heart and our mind get purified. Love towards our fellow beings develops. Love towards the Supreme Being develops. And because of these foundations, the upper, the upper structures unfolds and we become ready for the yoga of uh, meditation. And by regular practice of meditation, we become good meditators and we experience the, experience the fruit in the longer run uh, of the practice of meditation. So to conclude, to whoever asked the question, make sure that you have a good an able medita meditation teacher that is not only a teacher but is also a, a, an experienced practitioner and under the guidance of such a teacher practice daily the different practices of meditation given to you by your teacher and under proper guidance there will be success. Om Tat Sat.